decisions, P3 and the constructors, how do you feel? I feel great. I mean, I think we just executed the race that we were planning from. I mean, if you would have told us last Monday, go to Abu Dhabi, finish P5 and P6, let the racing points, um, uh, one DNF and one, how was it? P10. P10. I think we would have signed it immediately, no? And I think it's exactly what we did. We were, we executed a perfect race and we brought home P3 that I heard the, the team is pretty <laughs> excited <laughs> and pretty, yeah. Yeah, I think we can be happy with what we've done. You know, even if today was the other way and we didn't get P3 in the constructors, we did what we could. And uh, we couldn't have done any more than that. So, um, like Carlos said, very happy for the team. I'll see the videos after how, how much they were celebrating and how, how happy they were. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just very proud of, of everyone. And a mega race and a whole weekend for you, Lando, specifically? Uh, yes, I mean, there wasn't a lot more to do, you know. I tried holding Alban off, but they were way too quick. He finished 40 seconds ahead, so I think that showed that they were much quicker today. But uh, we're getting there, although it's still the last race of the season. We've got a lot of work to do. Um, P4 yesterday, P, uh, P5 today. Um, and just for us as a team, I think we maximised it and we did everything we could. So um, between us and, and everyone, we should be very happy. And Carlos, the strategy meant you had to pass some cars, the cars that you're going to be at next year. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. it made a... Made my race a bit uh, exciting there in the middle, and uh, I had to to do a couple of moves. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's the other way around next year. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, it's been a a good year with this guy, with with the whole team. It's time to to say goodbye, obviously. Time to to turn page. But at least today it's time to celebrate because I think this is this is huge for McLaren. This is huge for us. It just shows the the work, the hard work. It's paying off and. Uh, yeah, let's celebrate today and then tomorrow I'll start thinking about how can I make that red car a bit quicker. Are you guys still going to hang out even though you're not teammates? That's the plan, I think. Yeah, I think, you know, golf. Golf's my new full-time hobby out of, uh, <laughs> out of Formula One. And i um, practicing every night in my bedroom, you know, my swings and everything. He needs to. I need to, be, <laughs> <cheers. laughs> to, uh, to be as good as him because it's just it's another competitive thing that I want to beat him at and he obviously wants to, to keep beating me at. So... Um, yeah, there's still a lot of things we enjoy, you know, away from the racetrack and and things like that. And we're still good mates outside of Formula One, not just within the paddock. So uh, hopefully, and we'll see anyway. I don't know. It depends if we crash at race one next year. Yeah. But uh, we'll <laughs> no, I out. will hate you. No, but um, yeah, some bowling. Bowling. Uh, we're boba. You know, we can go for dinner one day if COVID rules allow next year. Golf. I'm sure we will be hanging out. So don't worry that you will still get some, as they say in social media, Carlando content.